Alzheimer's. We need to record this. <laughs> okay. My name is Terry Bryan and my age is, well, I'm coming to 80 this year. I'm Shelley Bryan and um, Terry Bryan's my husband and I'm, I'm actually his carer as well. Terry's um, a lovely, easy-going man, actually. Um, really nice, um, laid-back person. Always had a love of football, mind you. Um, but, um, yeah, couldn't wish for a nicer man, to be honest. I'm very lucky. He was diagnosed about three years ago. He was 76 then. Um, he's got what they call multi-dementia, um, so he's got um, Alzheimer's um, and... Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. Uh, he's got a little bit of vascular dementia and uh, the frontotemporal dementia. So he's got what they class as mixed dementia. I kept it quiet for some time because um, I didn't know a lot about dementia then and, you know, started getting a bit forgetful. I think for me, I think I'd already realised that he'd got dementia, so it wasn't too much of a shock. Um, I think it was more of a shock for Terry when you actually get that diagnosis. Um, I think the hardest thing is coming to terms with it, um, because uh, Terry did go into a state of depression for a while. He didn't want to talk about it, he didn't want to speak to anybody, uh, just went into himself a little bit. I think a bit of depression sets in and, you know, you begin to wonder where it's all going to end, what your future is, but, um, you know, I just take it day by day uh, and luckily at the moment I'm not too bad. Well, for starters, Naturally, the same as probably everybody else, I started at school. Um, they were a bit short one day, so managed to pick me. And uh, I actually scored the equalising goal. And I was over the moon. And from that day on, I was hooked. carried on in local football and did quite well really, uh, got a few hat tricks and whatever and uh, really enjoyed it, it, it uh, probably transformed my life to be honest with you. Played for several clubs but mainly Redditch uh, was a bit the highest that I got in the end. Um, Actually followed on from there to uh, going down to the library to see um, whether we could find out anything about you know my past history, which we did really successfully. In fact, I could have stopped there for a month. Lo and behold, I, I went down with a, a, a great friend, Pete. Uh, we went down to the library to uh, see what we could find out. And uh, gosh, it was overwhelming. Uh, things that, like, with somebody with my condition, um, I'd probably forgotten all about, and it brings it all back to you, which was was great, really. A few are tricks again, here and there. Was, you know, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. So my name's Katie Hackett, and I'm team leader at Redditch Library, which is where we are today.
So um, when Terry and Pete come into the library, uh, we will go down to the basement, which is where all of our archives are stored, find the relevant year that they would like, um, and bring it back upstairs for them to have a look through. Was headed home by Brian. Oh, you can't keep it up. <laughs> Have you got anywhere to go? <laughs> oh, it's been lovely actually. They, it's, they've had a great time. Um, him and his friend Pete again have, have been going down to Ridge Library a, a few times actually just to look at the old archives of the football, especially to see the matches that Terry played in. It started off with. Um, Terry trying to prove that he did play for Redditch United because they couldn't actually find anything on the internet or anything on the old programmes. Um, but they did find it and so, you know, that was a bit of a breakthrough for them. But they've really enjoyed that time um, in the library, just um, reminiscing really. And uh, the library have been really helpful, the library staff. And um, it's, you know, it's good for them really the, the, to, to know that you've got a place where you can go and look through um, old files and, and stuff and find out information so yeah they've been really supportive it's uh, it's, it's been great i only got one mm, i'm afraid so <laughs> <laughs> finished up seven six i got all six and they scored a penalty in the last minute to make it seven six <laughs> and we missed one <laughs> Well, uh, as my wife will tell you, I don't really go far now, uh, you know, a bit of a recluse and the football does help to get me out. I think football's a, a tremendous part of his life really, it always has been right from when he was a child and I think, um, you know, the fact that he can go out, he's, it, luckily enough he's got a good friend that takes him down and, uh, and watches football with him um, and they, they enjoy it, they have a good laugh together um, and it, it really gets him out because he's not a person to socialise, never really has been too much, um, but for football he will, he will go out which is, is, is good. So whereas football's been his life, I think, um, it's now given him back a bit of life, really, because that has given him something to focus on and something to keep him going. So it's 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 great, really. It really is. Not the same as playing by any means, but it gave me a, a bit of an interest again. It means a lot, really, because uh, you know, as I say, I did play for them, and I think. It's every schoolboy's dream to play for your local club. You've got to wish it in. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like, doesn't it? <laughs> I think, I think the, the longer you can stay focused and positive, the better really, and get yourself out of that depression. And football does that for Terry. I think that's it's, it's been his, his lifesaver really, because um, that gives him something to focus on. So, you know, that's really helped. <laughs>